All right. Let's get to our dorm. Get that USB for for Warren. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Damn, they own everything, bro. They own the sidewalk. They own that tree. Oh. Hi, Max. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vor- Now if you'll excuse me. Already. Sorry. Had to clear some space. I really have to find out what happens. <laughs> oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Last video was like 20 seconds long. What a lame like, don't have space to Even do this. Mark, I was like, Mr. Oh. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Is that an insult? Also, Since that you know all poo? the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Yeah. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Let's go. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. <laughs> mm. No. So do we do something with the paint? I need to figure this out. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Do you understand I just want to get Victoria get the lost. hell out of the way. Uh -oh. Oh. No. Figured it out. I am genius. Okay, let's see if this works. Yeah. Well, Samuel. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Close, but no cigar. Damn. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? I don't know how to move them. Keep walking, hippie. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh no, not my cashmere. Move, Samuel. I got shit to tamper with. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Back up, Samuel. Okay, so to do this and then do the water. I okay, mean, it's not let's like, see if this I, works. <laughs> what do you mean Samuel's too close? He totally would have saw you do that, dude. Like, hello? Yeah, get wrecked. No fucking way! 
Are you okay, Victoria? <laughs> Look, Samuel is sorry. Wet, not wet your paint cashmere. is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? <laughs> Don't. No. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Bitch. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that, me. Fuck it. Red rum. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Going to be pissed we took so long. My dad's gonna be pissed. has consequences what do you mean the universal symbol for please leave me alone asshole I don't even know whose place that is how sad I didn't write anything I have nothing to say are you gonna draw something today me too Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Oh, I thought they said the ginger and the cow. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Same. Oh, good lord. Telling false stories, bitch. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Hey, look, it's where that picture was taken, right here. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Got the power strip on the wall. Achievement. Hi fi. Okay. Feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Just a dude playing a dude, just playing another dude. Some 
Alrighty, let's get that uh what the fuck is walking around I stomping need to grab their a feet fast and shit and outside before I see Warren. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And yeah. slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. I hella want cookies. She sure knows now. how to make a sad birthday happy. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If you forget to water this plant, it just dies, bro. <laughs> you hate to see it. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Roger drives and watch some flicks. Why well, study? If you need a bag, just check me down. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Fine. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Oh. What happened? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You what did she do? This? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, you why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. Same. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According oh. to Victoria? Huh. Victoria. She saw the sext, and Zachary He's won't answer bitch. his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Answer, you wuss. Victoria's room. Which one's Victoria's room? <laughs> oh. To be the change you wish to see. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate. I hate you, Victoria. <laughs> Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Word. Maybe I will join her posse. This bitch is, is rich, bro. Um, laptop. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. All right. See anything else I can snoop around with? Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. I guess not. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Here we go. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. 
Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Totally 80s film night. Let's go. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Hey man, I gotta snoop first. This is both sad and pathetic. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank That's on why friend, she's not nice. Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're welcome. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. I think it's nice, time Max. to you rewind time. So damn nosy again. Channel my inner Will but Smith. I could rewind and make it up to her. It's rewind time. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but. I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Absolutely. Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Fine. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <sighs> Damn it, Max. What you want, homie? Uh, this dude Warren's a clown. Oh, that thing's kind of cool. Hello. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn! I better rewind. It's rewind time. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. But is that... Hello? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Man, fuck you. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Bet. What's that say? 
Welcome to Sluts R Us. <laughs> That's a weird way to spell Toys R Us. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Nobody knows? Hmm. I'm sure somebody knows. What the fuck do you want? Are you challenging me? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Bro, back the fuck hey, off. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Remember it. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Nah. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Cars equal death. Alright, bro. Who toilet papers a bike? The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Hey, it's the bobblehead. Let's go. It's actually in here. That's awesome. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. <laughs> Bastard. Is this Frank's RV? What the hell? That layer of dust is begging for my finger. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. This I could just picture have for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Dog. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. No, they won't let me. Hold on, Warren. Gotta go over here first. Let's see. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Hi, how are oh, you? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. <clears throat> Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. 
He usually Hang in does. There, <laughs> See you around, Max. She said he usually does, bro. What's up, brother? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Rip. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60 miles? You're in miles. the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Bet. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. Buddy's over Stephen here Hawking drawing against stick Picasso figures. any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Mm. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy <laughs> love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Fuck. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky, speaking of hip and fast, <laughs> we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, I bitch. told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <sighs> Max? Chloe? SpongeBob! No you again! Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Damn! Get in, Max! Your punk asses, out there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Then your boy got fucked up. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Usually how it works, yeah. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. 
I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I mean... I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs the in the country. Fucking option for the teacher, and bro. my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Hmm. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. Absolutely. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything. Changes. Not the camera. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. <laughs> and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Can we use him on the camera? Damn, that house looks awesome. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Same. But my camera. Tits. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Fucking hate that guy. We had such a blast drawing these together. Nice. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Word? I didn't know she had one of those. This postcard Oops. is from Rachel Oops. Ember. What are we doing? This looks like a laundry bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Nice, Chloe. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Sorry. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. <laughs> 80 absences. Let's go. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. 
Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. He gone. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Not true. Party all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. We can rewind. It's another option I can say. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? <laughs> I take photos. <laughs> I take photos. <laughs> Why didn't you just say world, that in the first place? Everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. It's here, Max. Look a little harder. What are we doing? I totally forgot what we're doing. Uh. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> I think this junk swallowed her discs. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. She said, fuck off. Where's your shit at, bro? You're the one that lives here. I already looked in here. Yeah. It's such a blast drawing these together. Whoa. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hmm. Where is your fucking CD, he's woman? I think this junk swallowed her discs. Ah. There we go. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. 
And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Fine. Let's go. Music. Be fucking death metal or some shit. Maybe not. <clears throat> Wanna get high? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I right, bet. Can I snoop some more? Let's go. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Did I just Man, see what I, I thought I saw? Today. The hell? Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. But his dumbass is the one that ran into the window. Alright, fine. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Mm. Mr. Man was a military man. Aw. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Turns on lamp. This action will have consequences. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Maybe Joyce her. looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Let's go snoop in the bathroom. Y'all got. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. Well, maybe you should turn the light on. Dumbass. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Okay, let's uh, go downstairs now. 